Developing right now, 17 Gitmo detainees about to be getting out, transferred to other nations. Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Carriage is here. Nice to see you, Catherine. Where are these 17 going? Well, what we know, Greta, is that this list of 17 is on a very close hold because the White House does not want any leaks. Because what we understand is that the group does contain multiple bad actors as well as al-Qaeda followers. And they don't want anything to either delay or ultimately derail this biggest transfer. All right, I take it that the ones that are being released now are more hardened Correct. than the five we left. That's we released, right. for instance, to Qatar, right? No, I wouldn't say they're more hardened than the Taliban five who are in Qatar, but what I would say is that they're kind of like the coffee grounds at the bottom of your percolator. Uh -huh. I mean, we're getting right down to the very end, and this is why these groups are so difficult to get rid of, because the countries that take them will only take them, I understand, in this particular case, in onesies and twosies. All right, we got, we did some sort of deal, I assume, mm -hmm. to these onesies and twosies, countries taking right. them. Do we know anything about the deals, or is that secret? That, that is also secret, but what I would say is that the White House has really prided itself on being better at vetting than the Bush administration, but they've taken a lot of, they've got a lot of heartburn over a recent transfer in 2012 now, this guy, Ibrahim al -Khosi. He's now gone on to be one of the key players in al-Qaeda in Yemen, which is the most active and capable of hitting the United States. So they can no longer say we're much better at betting than the Bush administration because this is a real high-profile return for them. All right. Um, current Secretary yeah. of Defense has mm -hmm. to sign off on this. That's correct. He was more willing than, for instance, the last two Secretary of Defense. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Secretary Panetta and also Secretary Hagel, once they uh, resigned from those positions, confirmed that they had a lot of difficulty and reluctance to sign off on these transfers because the Secretary of Defense has to certify that they are no longer a security risk. You, you uh, mm -hmm. appreciate the irony that we're tightening gun right. control mm -hmm. in our country? And it just seems more than a bit ironic that on the, in the same week where we're going to see executive action on gun control, this administration is going to push out another 17 detainees, and once we know the identities and they're public, there's going to be real controversy over their al-Qaeda links. It just seems to be uh, a real significant disconnect. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.